So I'm sure you've all had a moment where you're lying in bed in the dark, playing on your phone, and then your parents come in and they're like, stop playing on your phone so much. You're gonna hurt your vision. You're gonna go blind. But imagine, what if you were robbed of your vision from birth due to a developmental or genetic defect? That wouldn't seem very fair, would it? Wouldn't you wish that there was some way that we could detect, correct, and prevent these errors from occurring? Well, in order to do that, there is so much more that we have to learn about eye development because it is an extremely complex process with so many genes and factors. And there's just so much that we don't know. So my lab is, is involved in studying eye development and congenital vision loss. More specifically, a condition known as a coloboma. So a coloboma is essentially a hole in your eye. Now this occurs when the optic vesicle fails to fuse properly. The optic vesicle is the structure that will eventually develop into your retina. Now this fissure in the optic vesicle has to touch and completely fuse together to form one complete layer of tissue. This is absolutely critical, and if there is a defect in this fusion process, then it will not complete and you will get a gap that will eventually persist into your retina, which will become the colobone. Roughly 1 in 10,000 people are affected by this condition, and the degree of vision loss associated with this depends on the severity and location of the coloboma. So it can range from complete vision loss to virtually no effect on vision whatsoever. So my lab is focused on, on investigating genes which are critical to eye development. In particular, for, for my project, I'm interested in a gene called NF2, or neurofibroblastosis 2. Now, previous studies have shown that when you disrupt the NF2 gene in the eye, or if you knock it out, then you, it will result in a coloboma. Now, how and why exactly does this happen, we don't know. So my project, for my project, I'm going to be looking at embryonic mice which have the NF2 gene disrupted in their eye, and I'm going to be comparing them to normal control mice. Here, you can see that when you disrupt the NF2 gene, you get, you get a gap in the eye. This is the coloboma. And then in the normal control mice, we don't see that. So by, by in investigating the, the morph morph morphological differences between these two groups of mice, I hope to learn more about why NF2 disruption causes the coloboma. And by learning more about colobomas, hopefully we'll be, one day we'll be, in the future, we'll be able to develop specific treatments in order to prevent eye developmental problems. And so everyone will have the opportunity to experience the beauty and colors 